We all know that orchestral sounds can bring depth, emotion and that undeniable wow factor to your music production. From sweeping strings to powerful brass, orchestral sounds add that epic touch. The only problem is getting decent orchestral sounds can cost you an arm and a leg. With the wow factor of a lot of these libraries being the enormous price tag, making you settle to using sometimes underwhelming alternatives. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a much cheaper alternative to these expensive libraries. So Spitfire Audio has to be up there with the best at making orchestral type of libraries. They've made it their point to make them affordable, sometimes even free as well. But with this collection, they have gone one step further. With Spitfire Audio sound, you might think of productions like this. And you would be right, that's perfect for movie scoring or scene scoring. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I would use it in regular beat productions. So the first library we're gonna talk about is the Epic Strings Library, a 60 strong symphonic string section featuring London's best players. This is what it'll look like inside of your door. All of the originals libraries look like this. You have the presets here, as well as some effects there and some mic positions in the bottom left hand corner. And you can use this fader here for dynamics. I have made a production here. Um, I'm not really sure what genre it is. It's 80s influenced. I guess you could call it synth wave, but we've used orchestral sounds in there as well as some synths from other plugins too. I added the Origin Vintage plugin just to get that old vintage sound as we're trying to get that 80s type of retro feel and a kickstart too for that kind of pulsating bounce. Something else I've added in here is the Cinematics Pads library. And these are widescreen organic synth textures made from an orchestra. This is what it looks like, same deal. Comes with some presets, a ton of presets here actually. It wouldn't be an 80s inspired track without some synths, so I went over to Anna 2 and plucked some out. Counter melody. I added that kick two to everything, so everything kind of had the same kind of pulsating bounce. This is actually a good advert for Anna 2 as well. Comes with so many different presets. Absolutely love this plugin. 80s drum loop. You might think that the orchestra part wasn't a main key to this, but I started with the orchestra part and really built off that. That was the foundation of this whole track and you can hear it throughout.
that sounds pretty cool. And I forgot to mention it as well, if you do stick around to later on in the video, I'm actually doing a giveaway as well. Kind of forgot to mention that. Okay, so we have taken a more sinister direction with this next production. So for this one, we started with the strings again. We used the strings live, made a little dark sound in progression similar to this. A quick little tip for you guys is if you learn a scale on the keyboard, uh, maybe a couple of scales, you can always use that to input your melodies and then once you have it in your door, you can change the um, key range of it to other scales. I added this firewood piano library just as a undertone, just to hit those really low bass notes. This is a detailed upright piano with a cracked bridge creating unique resonances. Doesn't sound like much, but it really does add texture to the track. For the next part, we used the Cinematic Percussions Library, recorded at London's Air Studios for the widescreen dramatic effect. Didn't use too much of it, it just sits nicely in the background, gives it a bit of rhythm. I did a 808 from Ramsoid's 808 cooker. The drums were actually used from my new sample pack called Sad Summer. It's actually going to be coming out this Friday, but you can pre-order it right now in the description below. So my last video I says to you guys, if you comment, go outside in the comment section below, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Well, this is that next video and here are the people that commented. If you would like a shout out in my next video, what we have to do right now is like this video and comment end of May in the comment section below. And I'll give you a shout out in my next video. But please bear in mind it is the first 20 people that will get a shout out. Now let's head back into it. And this one here is gonna be a part of the giveaway. What I want you to do is finish this production. A week from now, I will either announce the winner in my community post or maybe even in another video. We use the Brass Live. So essentially I started off with a melody similar to this one. Something like that, pitched it again because I know of this key range here but I don't know all of them, so I pitched it to another scale. Use the brass again, but it's more of a short, stabby melody for it. And at the end of the bar, I use a brass long preset. After that, I added some pads just to add some atmosphere to the background of that. Very subtle, but it's definitely there. I added this shout here to make it sound interesting. So yeah, this is the loop that you'll be finishing to win the giveaway. And what do you win in the giveaway, you might want to ask. So everything I've showed you today has been a part of this new library. Well, it's not so much a library, it's a bundle. Um, I will say that I only showed you brief parts of every single library. 
the libraries are more vast than what I've showed you. A ton more presets. I literally showed you like one preset per one, especially this firewood piano. This deserves a lot more respect than I've gave it in today's video. The awesome piano for real complex melodies. So normally with the originals, everything costs $30 or 30 pounds per library. So this would normally cost you three, six, nine, 120, around 150. But what they've done to get you on your orchestral journey, I guess, is they've made it even cheaper. So as you can see here on the right hand side, it is now 99 pounds. And don't get me wrong, I know for a lot of people, 99 pounds is still a, a hell of a lot of money. But if you flat out can't afford this way, you don't have the budget, that's absolutely fine. Spitfire Audio have labs that is completely free. So anyway, the giveaway, if you download the last loop in the description below and submit it, I will be picking the best submission and two people will win a copy of this bundle. Make it whatever genre you want and the winner will win a copy of this bundle in one week's time and I'll submit it somewhere. You'll, you'll see it, trust me. So if you do want this Spitfire Audio bundle or you want to check out anything else by Spitfire Audio, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you are still looking for more plugin videos, I'll leave one here and one here as well. Be safe, be productive and hopefully I'll see you guys in the the next one.